Once we have our seat adjusted so that we're comfortable, our steering adjusted so that we're comfortable, and our mirrors adjusted, I want to stress that with our mirrors, we want to make sure that the, the longer rectangular shaped mirror is set so that we see the traffic and any pedestrians to the side around us. The lower mirror, the lower convex mirror, must be set so that we can see our side brooms, left and right hand side brooms. And then the upper convex mirror should be set so that we see uh, traffic all around us in intersections and up and down the streets. Global builds this cab so that we sit right in the center of the lane. The idea behind this is that we don't have to lean left or right to see the brooms or lean left or right to see what's going on around us. We get to sit comfortably right in the center position and use our mirrors to do the work with that is behind us and we look forward and we drive just as we would in a standard vehicle. This should be comfortable. We do not want you leaning. <clears throat> Once everything is set, we put our seatbelt on. If you'd like, you can drop your armrests. Again, make sure you're comfortable and get ready to start the, the uh, ignition. With our seatbelt on and our mirrors adjusted properly, it's time to begin by turning the key part way at this time we want to do a Cummins engine light check and let the lights cycle all the way through. We want those lights off before we continue to crank the engine on. This will help to eliminate any false codes from being thrown on. Very important sticker to pay attention to in this machine in order for this engine to start is right here. All sweep functions, anytime the engine has been uh, turned off or the ignition switched off, you must reset all sweep functions again before this engine will crank and start over again. That means if any of these buttons, gutter burn button left or right, elevator forward or reverse is not in the center position, the ergo switch is left on, if any of those are left on, the engine will not start. Also tied into that is our shifter. If this shifter is placed anywhere other than locked into park, the engine will not start. We need to make sure at all times that the shifter is locked into park before we try to uh, activate the ignition switch. If you're in the cab and the shifter is in park and all of the buttons are off and reset and your engine still will not start, remember we need to circle to the back of the machine where we have these two switches in contact with this cover. For any reason, if this cover is open, these switches will not allow the engine to crank. So be certain if everything in the cab checks out, engine isn't cranking, that you start right here. Come to the back, check the two switches. And now we would be ready to get back in the cab, start the engine.